Hello, everybody, and welcome to Late Night Football. Welcome to our transfer reaction show, a late night transfer reaction show. And I tell you what, I was I was at a beach whole day today, and at about three o'clock, uh, you know, three ish, I get I get a message from Kaneya saying, "Well, the delict deal is done. Uh, you know, you got to do a video. Are you going to do a video?" And I and I was on a beach. I was on a beach, and um, I mean. Ah, uh, you know, one of those days, and there's actually two good, two good pieces of news to talk about. But we'll talk about the Delic deal uh, today, and all uh, right now, this to talk about. Matthias Delic has uh, agreed. I mean, Bayern Munich have agreed a fee, but the Juventus from Matthias Delic, and I think that deal will be done. Uh, Seventy million euros plus ten million euros in add-ons. Um, so again, you know, we look at the fee first. I, I don't know what to make of it. I don't think Delic. I think Delic was signed by Juventus to sort of replace one of Chiellini or Bonucci in the side. And I don't think he did that. I don't think he ever settled at Juventus. I don't think he ever um, really made an impact uh, the way that they probably would have wanted at, at Juventus. And so, I mean, from that sense, I don't think he was a flop. And I, I'm sure Juventus fans will probably have a better idea, opinion on this, but I, I don't think he was a flop, but I don't think he succeeded in the way that they wanted him to succeed. I don't think he ever quite um, made that mark. So from that perspective, I think the fee is a good one for Juventus. I think it's a good fee for Juventus to pay. For Frederick, the thing is that it is only 22, right? Because he's been around, you, you feel like he's been around forever, but he's actually only 22. Um, he's obviously got leadership qualities, something that they need, uh, something that Bayern need after Alaba has left. They haven't really had that. So to have him in the side will help with that. Is he as good a defender? Is he a 60 million pound defender? A 60, 70 million pound defender? I don't think he is. I don't think it's. I think I think it's slightly on the higher side. I don't think it's overpaid. It's not as overpaid as United overpaid for Lissandro Martinez. Let's be clear. They, they were overpaid by this 50 million pounds for Lissandro Martinez. And by the way, I'm not in a video on that because we're talking about him. I don't want to talk about him again. So I, I don't think it's that kind of overpaid. But I do think they've overpaid. Uh, you know, like basically, if Lissandro Martinez fees 30, they've overpaid by 50 percent for him. Um, for Brian, for for Delict, I think they've overpaid by maybe five, 10 million pounds. But then, you know, you're looking at probably a 50, you know, basically it's about 50, 60 million, that makes 60, 70. So it's about five, 10 million pounds of difference. I don't know, that's not a significant difference, but you could probably make a case, yes, that it is a bit, he is a bit overpriced from that perspective. It is a good deal for Juventus, uh, for sure. So um, it is, but then again, the market is that way right now. And everybody, everybody is inflated. All the prices are inflated right now. There's a lot of, uh, uh, you know, players that are going for much higher prices than it's supposed to. It's just the way the market is. You could pop it down to that. Um, at the end of the day, Bayern, if they win, they will win. They win the Bundesliga almost every season. They win the Bundesliga. So if he can, if he can help them in the Champions League and be more competitive in Europe, um, not they've not really been that way the last couple of seasons. They've been, they've lost in the quarterfinals. They need to do better than that. So I think if he can bring that leadership quality and he can bring that sort of stability in defense, I think that'll be a success for Bayern. So that's what they will be hoping for from the league. Dutch players generally do well in the Bundesliga anyway. Um, they sometimes touch the Dutch players don't always do that well. In, in Serie A, not always. So therefore, uh, you know, that, that might have been difficult, but for him in Bundesliga, might be a little bit easier for him to settle into this league, might be easier for him to settle into a Bayern. So I think from that perspective, it will definitely be, that might definitely be a better fit. And so he might have a better time of it. Um, and of course, you know, as I said, Bayern need leadership uh, at the back. They have lost that once Alaba left. I don't think Opa Meccano has really replaced him fully. So they'll probably want uh, the leg to come in and do that. So. Um, that, that's where it is. And of course, you know, it's good. They, they've got funds uh, from the Lewandowski deal. They've got funds. So they've used it here. So that's definitely something to, to, to be happy about as well. As a Bayern fan, I think that's a, uh, something. So I, I do think it's a good deal for the player because I think it's, it's a good move for the player because I think the Bundesliga will suit him better. Um, I think it's a good deal for Juventus because they're getting money. They're getting about 60 million pounds for him. Um, and it's a good deal to do because I don't... I, He's a good, I, I don't think he's really settled in and you went this. Now, maybe he could, he's still very young, so maybe he could have, but I think sometimes when you, you keep him longer than, you know, if he's not doing well, his value will only drop. So at least now he's, he's, he's still got a good value, so they could have sold him and got some money for him. Um, from Bayern's perspective, I think if it works out, it's a good deal. And that's where it is. I think if they get what they want or what they're expecting from him, which is leadership and stability, if they get that, then I think it's a good deal for them. But that's something that only time can tell. At the moment, it just looks like maybe they might have paid a tad bit more than they would have wanted to. But you know what? That that's something that that will uh, that that you know. I'm sure Bayern won't mind that if it works out. So that that's where that is. 
Um, let me know in the comments. What do you think? What, do you think this is a good deal for Bayern? Do you think it's a good deal for Juventus? Do you think it's a good move for Delic? What do you think of the player? Let me know in the comments section. Of course, always love to hear from you. Sorry about the delay. We've only been able to do one video today. I was just out. Uh, I wanted to take a day off. So uh, I was just out. And so, you know, this is summer in Canada. We've got to make the most of it while it's there. So that's one of the reasons. I'm sorry. I apologize for that. But hopefully, we'll continue. We'll be back on track tomorrow with a few more videos and more frequency. Um, but do let me know. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, do smash like. Smash like for Delic. If you enjoyed, if you like that deal. Um, and of course, uh, remember to subscribe to our channel on uh, YouTube and Facebook. We're going to continue to do more videos and we appreciate the support as we do that. And when we do videos, we can get notified. And as you know, there's no real set time. You could do one late in the night as well. So uh, definitely keep an eye out for that. Thank you so much. And we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.